And I thought yeah. we'd break a uh, convention here. We normally do this later in the show, but there's oh, yeah. been so many great ones coming in. Which ones? But I do want to do a bit of Upset Andy. Oh. But before we get to it, mm-hmm. I have a live Upset Andy that happened. Um, <laughs> was at the park, was playing with the kids, and someone's timer went off yep. on their phone. And I'm going to give you a live demonstration here. I've set my timer up to go off um, in five seconds. So okay. there's a bit of this. And you could hear it going off. Oh. That guy. Yeah. You know that timer? Yeah, yeah. So this was going off mm. in someone's pocket. Right. And I was like, hmm, all right, someone's time is up. That's fine. I knew it wasn't mine. I hadn't set a timer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would need right? that And it up. just <laughs> kept going, right? And then everyone was pretty fine with it except for one lady <laughs> who was looking around going, Mm. Yeah, that's me. Just wait. That's, that's absolutely right? me. Just and everyone else was going about their business, yeah. and then I was watching that going, "This is wonderful. She <laughs> is acting like, like even with it now. Sorry. I'm having problems with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm leaving it on. Just like, sorry, I think someone's time is going off. <laughs> right, which is like, even as you say it, you know, it's not helpful. You just want it to stop for you. It's like, Sorry, yeah, someone's, is someone's timer on? And it was like, no. <laughs> and it did seem to be emanating from perhaps one guy. Yeah. Like in, it's, <laughs> like she'd honed in on this guy and then you could just see her staring at him. Everyone take your phones out and hold yeah. them above your head. <laughs> she, she goes, I think someone's timer's going off, looking at the guy. And she goes, I think your timer's going off. And he goes, no, I haven't set a timer. And she goes, well, it sounds like it's coming from your pocket because... Well, sorry, I, I haven't set a timer. Just, could you check? <laughs> Did he check? <laughs> like, it's not my timer. And she was like, I've turned it off for you now. And then she was like, check, because it's someone's is on. <laughs> I was like, but it's it, but but it's okay. Like it, it was okay, a, yeah. she was acting Life like someone's on. someone's water mains had been hit. Like we <laughs> yeah, exactly there's a gas we leak. Have to fix this. <laughs> we need to fix We have to fix this, <laughs> but it really and I was just like, oh, this would be Ando for sure. Yeah. Just an un- Attended to time is yeah. a fer- ferociously no, uh, upsetting no, event for me. No place in life for that for me. <laughs> no, that great. And I just love that I was just somehow at the park with seven mm. or eight other people who were, like we're at the kids' playground, seven or eight other people who were just happy to, that's all right, you can just operate with a timer going up in the background. <laughs> not my timer, not my concern. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not mine. <laughs> it was mine. Everything is neat and practical Cause that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy I had one during the week that Beck told me to get over Yep She bought a hand wash soap for the kitchen yep. And when she it, it, it does have a kind of a lag on it When she hits the, the pump pack <laughs> She kind of gets the, the start of the soap and the rest drips <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and yeah, I just said, oh, so it's got a bad prostate. It's got a bad prostate. Yes, so yeah. I just said, would you would you mind completing the, the push? <laughs> <laughs> what this is the kind of this is the kind of this is the kind of shit that married at first sight gets a whole episode out of. <laughs> and she's like, what? It's like, well, just it, it's dripping and like yes. leaving a cake of soap that I clean up, you know, most days. She's like, that's right. It's just soap. Like soap's clean. Yeah, actually, like, what you should do is keep collecting it there, and then at the end <laughs> you'll have a you'll have a free little, little cake, cake. <laughs> that you can use as another hand wash. Anyway, so yeah, so she, she's she's pulling out, she's withdrawing too quickly, yeah, and it's still going. Yeah, she's still she, gushing. Anyway, she humbly declined. <laughs> Respectful <laughs> decline, <laughs> sir. Decline. Uh, hey, what do you got? Request? Who's there? Okay, uh, Jess. here we go. <laughs> Jess, ahoy to you. Ahoy. What have you got to upset Andy? Um, I have a few, but the one I um, have today is that when I um, use dental floss, you know how it has the little silver thing to cut the dental floss into strips? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, mine broke off. And so I was using scissors to cut strips <laughs> every night. And then I lost my scissors. Yeah. So what do you do so, now? Well, now I just pull it and then use it. And then the next night, pull a bit more. 
Yeah. Either. All right, so you've got a but long you know, tail of used yeah. dental yeah. floss. <laughs> floss like a, like, like, you know, you do ice core drilling and you have a history of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a, like a, you of a your history food. of your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Lamb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was last Thursday. <laughs> and just after a while, mm. you would have the thought, look, if I just wash this thing and wind it up again. <laughs> I didn't have that thought, but now I do. Sorry. <laughs> Save I mean, me time going to buy new dental floss. Uh, Jesse, yeah, that, that, would, the that, dishwasher. that would bother me. <laughs> exactly. uh, that would absolutely bother me. I'm going to give that a peri-peri hot. That's, uh, <laughs> that's. I mean, yeah, if the soap, if a dribbly soap bothered it, no. Uh, An unwound floss. All right. Thank you, Jess. Chris, what have you got for us, mate? Uh, this one's from my wife. Uh, she, when she creates an eye calendar event on her phone, she will okay. put the uh, time. Sorry, I'll stop. In... Sorry, Chris. I'll always, I'm going to stop you already. I know it'll upset Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to do with the improper use of iCal? <laughs> yes. Will, yes. This, there's no way what you're about to say won't upset Andy. <laughs> Sorry, well, I interrupted. Gonna, go for it. It's going to go really worse okay. from here. When she creates an iCalendar event, she puts the time in the title and the time does not correspond <laughs> with the actual <laughs> event below. It's punctual. It's punctual. It's, I've never. I would hate to see the time in the title, even if it is correct. Yeah. But the time in the title when it's not corresponding, that would so, be so explosion. It, it, lo- that is... it, logs it, it logs it as like a 9am and she's like, you know, dinner with Felix 7.30 as the title. <laughs> oh, nah. That's grounds for I'm divorce. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad, but I'll tell you what I do all the time, Chris, is I will put it as an all-day event and then write the time. Like, you know, I'll put it as an all-day event and be like, you know, nine o'clock, catch up with Fitz. I think it's a fast and loose thing. When you've got kids, you don't have time to change the time in the the calendar. You do. I'll often have eight. confusion. I'll have eight things, eight things that are an all-day event (laughs) and they'll have the time written next to them in the title because I get... Bored and frustrated, flipping around that little dial. Oh, is it AM? Is it PM? It is Which, finicky. It is finicky. It's finicky, Jack. It's finicky. Well, there's no time. <laughs> I, don't time to, I don't have time for the time. I'll just oh, yeah. type it in. Well, Make them one, all, one all day. One thing I will say about calendars, ICAL particularly, is it's, <laughs> it, it seems to have been. <laughs> this is an improvement. No, it seems to have been pretty much the same software since about 2009. Yep. And it's still having to think so much when you put an event in. Has anyone realised that when you're even trying to add an event or anything, it just takes so long? Everything else got quicker. Maybe mine doesn't do that, but maybe because yours has like 65 things a day. It's just jam-packed <laughs> in there. That, and it was, it's probably got one minute, you know, walk to kitchen and then 11.04. I know, know I get this You would like dad. it to have halves. I, I reckon you would like it to have 11.04, 30 seconds, begin making sandwich. <laughs> I, I, I do respect a schedule. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> respect him or a schedule, Leo. <laughs> have you? But, have but you my, ever this done... comes from my dad. My dad loves Ica, like loves it. And yeah. and I, <laughs> he rang me one day, and I was driving down the beach. He goes, "Oh, where are you?" And I said, "Oh, I'm just heading down to the beach. Should be there in about twenty minutes." And he's like, "Oh, cool." And then. I get off and when I arrive, a calendar appointment comes up and goes, Andy at beach. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes from now. It's <laughs> like, okay, Dad, yeah, we don't need to tell the whole family. On the whole joint calendar. Yeah, just wanted just to like, let everybody know. <laughs> seen him. Spotted. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Good Hugh. on, Chris. <laughs> Hugh. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you, mate. Ahoy, Hughie. What do you got to upset Andy? So, uh, lads, we just moved into a new house and it must be nice. Um, and uh, we've got an air conditioning system that has different zones that equate to different rooms. Mm-hmm. Oh, very um, nice. And uh, at present, the uh, rooms don't equate to the right zones. And so instead oh. of, you know, taking the time and changing the different <laughs> room names, we just turn on, you know, each zone and then walk into the room, see if air conditioning comes <laughs> out, it doesn't, go back, try the next room because you just don't have time to change it. Got, who, Hugh, who has got time to get the air con guy out and sit through the lecture about it's how ridiculous. you program the rooms? You're never going to get that time back. As soon as you said that the, the names don't line up with the rooms yeah. and his yeah. head began yeah. the, the, the travesty, you would that would kill you. And in, yeah. anything improperly labelled. Well, yeah, someone that exactly. The, the guy that did uh, the, the, the the sound system mm. at the house, one of them was for bedroom and he'd written 
lowercase b, capital E, lowercase, <laughs> lowercase d, and then the rest of the room. Oh, and I was boy. <laughs> Going to need you to come back, Greg. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm actually away with my family in New Zealand. That's all right. Just looking at Skyscanner. You can get a flight this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could actually you could be at the house with a good run by eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh. Uh, Alyssa, oh. wrap, wrap this up for us. <laughs> Ahoy boys. What a batch. Ahoy. Ahoy, Ahoy, Ahoy Alyssa. You. What have you got for Ando? So I normally pride myself on being very fast and loose like Hamish. Mm. But unfortunately, I had to switch to the other side. Good. Welcome. So I was talking to <laughs> my boyfriend room. the other day. Everything's ordered. <laughs> <laughs> the maximum <laughs> amount of room. Certainly, you certainly won't <laughs> step on anything on your way in. If, if it is full, you can know that there couldn't have possibly been more room. <laughs> <laughs> so unfort- I was talking to my boyfriend the other day, and we don't live together yet. And he was describing a problem he was having in regards to posters. He has a lot in his room. <laughs> and they started to curl at the edges. Yep. So I was suggesting, you know, the usual nice idea as framing them or, you know, re-blue tacking them, anything. But he assured me, no need, because he decided to staple the corners to the wall. <laughs> it was no longer fault. There you go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Not a bad, not a bad way to put a, put a poster on. No, no. I think it That's is a bad way. It's, it's, it's horrific. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, your blue tack can damage your paint anyway. So if you've, if you've accepted that you're damaging the wall, mm. would you blue tack something to the wall? And I don't feel like you blue tack something no, to the wall. No, blue, blue tack something to the wall. Okay, yeah. cool guy. Because Andy would know the proper way to get the blue tack. <laughs> just just once a year on a wild night. <laughs> <laughs> Might wake up in the morning and be like, what did I do? I like, oh, my God. Oh, my, look at that Pearl Jam poster. <laughs> How did that get up there? <laughs> Ando, mm. from a voice that's okay to voices that will annoy you, oh, why no. don't we've had so many upset Andys coming in, and they are crackers. Mm. We do have to, I think we've got to start with it. Everything is neat and practical Cause that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy The only opener on radio or podcast Across the whole broadcast landscape That dares to ask a question <laughs> In the opener <laughs> The whole segment is based on What if it wasn't? Mm. Fascinating concept Let's see if we can upset Andy And there's just I mean the flood it's seemingly endless. You think they're going to dry up, mm. but there are many opportunities in this world where people notice things that would perhaps upset your preference for efficiency and order. And and you might think that I might change my ways and become more fast and loose, but no, I think in my older age, it's getting worse. I understand. So, I understand. Um, Chris, 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 Chris you. Hi, boys. Oh, hey, Chris. So, very good, mate. What have you got for Ando? Uh, so I was talking to my buddy the other day who's just got into golf this summer mm-hmm. and um, after a couple of couple of rounds, when it gets a bit too hot, he'll just take his shirt off and play the rest of the game with no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I know, that's A-OK. And I'd like, I haven't played I, yet, but I'd like to be involved in a sport where that's fine. I, it does, that doesn't upset me, Ham. I know you th- think that you'd mind. No, no, well, I'm, I'm interested in the etiquette. The, well, the, yeah, etic- the etiquette sort of got me. Well, yeah. I think I think that it's a bit ridiculous that there's the collars, shirts, and uh, sure. and the tuck in. So some clubs allow t-shirt golf, which tuck I tuck in is tuck in a thing. Have to, yep, yeah, tuck in. Some clubs, for instance, <laughs> tuck in. So I can't wear an untucked polo. You can't wear an untucked. No deduction. <laughs> yeah, no what am I going to? What's going to happen? A to me? number of clubs, you can't wear black socks. For instance, you have to have Ooh. white socks. Some yes, lot, I can. And then <laughs> you just won't be. Able allowed to play. It's weird. It's stupid. Hence, I would love to see someone <laughs> just going down the tent with a top on uh, and, and just having a great time. So I know you would, think it would. Would happen. black socks upset you, Andy, if I turned up with them? Un- untucked polo and black socks. God, oh, it wouldn't sound, like a, sound like a biker. <laughs> it wouldn't upset me. <laughs> but, but, so Royal Melbourne is probably yeah. the most famous golf course in Australia, and it's also one of the most famous golf courses in the world. They've recently allowed black socks, but there's an attachment to an asterisk. Black socks, if it's no in, 
<laughs> like Salt's Mankini. <laughs> no. If it's in keeping with this shoe that the golfer chooses. So no Crocs. Actually, so I, I guess they're saying if you're wearing a black shoe, you're allowed black socks. I don't quite understand the rule, but Oof. apparently. All right, yeah. Chris, good one. I mean, I back it. And when I get out there and start swinging the sticks with Ando, yeah. I will make sure to do at least a whole topless. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you, Chris. Uh, Mitchell. 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 Upset Andy, please. Ahoy, boys. And number six, and happy birthday to you, Andy. No need. Um, so basically, uh, if I'm about to leave my house and I don't already have a pair of shoes on my feet, I usually keep a pair of thongs by the front door. And, you know, as a lead, a very busy lifestyle, and I'm very much fast and loose like Hamish, uh, on the odd occasion when I go to put my thongs on, the stem of the thong will land in between my second and third toe <laughs> instead of my first and second toe as yep. it normally should. And, you know, when this happens, I just carry about wherever I'm going. No, with my no. toes in the in no, the no, that's, that's Perry no time. time for me. That, no time, Mitchell. Who's got time to back it? Can't I'm progress exactly. in life if you're going to spend the whole time backing up and fixing your feet. <laughs> Keep yeah. walking, brother. Yeah, a uh, good, right. good one, Mitchell. No, that that would absolutely upset me. And <laughs> even if I saw it, I don't think I'd be able to hang with you socially <laughs> until you but fixed it, Mitchell. We 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 had a we had a classic upset, Andy, one time about a guy that liked to go surfing before going to work, and he'd learned to tolerate sand in his socks <laughs> rather than go to the effort of like washing and drying his feet after a surf. Mm. And I think this is the same thing. You can train your body mm. to just keep moving. Exactly. Is your second toe big? Uh. Yes, it is. Bigger than average. Okay. Congrats so. on the SP. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, eventually you get used to it. And after a couple of months, you got well, more Oh, mate, you're talking, you I get it. I hear you, mate. I, you get used to them, but still, congrats on the ST. <laughs> so I imagine I imagine it's an easier adjustment for him to make because his second toe's like a, uh, like a big toe. Like a, like a backup big toe, thumb. you reckon? <laughs> Basically, you're right. <laughs> nice, Mitchell. Thank nice. You, Mitchell. Um, Kendall, Kendall, have you got something to upset Andy? I do. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you. Ahoy. So this is something my mum does that drives me insane. So she's usually the family photographer at events and such. And when she goes back through the photos, uh, she'll zoom in on them and take a screenshot of the photo instead of cropping it or just sending the regular one to us. Gotcha. This would, oh, be, this yeah. would annoy Andy. So yeah. she's got then several of the same photo at various levels of zoom in her camera roll. She's easily doubled her camera roll. Um, and it also has like the share or delete button at the bottom. It has the time and the battery percentage at the top. <laughs> no. Uh, it's just bad. No, 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 no. no. Andy's gasping for it. <laughs> Reaching Even for the if I'm here. screenshotting a ticket to give to You'll Hamish or Jack, I'll crop it nicely. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing that... Anything involving edges or corners, <laughs> if it's not done correctly, consider it upsetting, Andy. And like, the other thing that worries me about your mum's phone... Yes, we're all worried. <laughs> <laughs> ...is I don't like excess photos in there, and so... Storage. I'll, not just so much for storage. I just want it to be a, a clean representation mm. of what I've been up to. So I will <laughs> <laughs> go back through. So you don't like a short event having nine photos and a long event having one. I'll go back through and clean out unnecessary photos once every two days. Really? Yeah. So like in memories, you know, memories come up. Yeah. I'm never yeah. getting a bad one. You don't yeah. get an odd memory. Yeah, no. they're all absolute keepers. Yeah. <laughs> with an even weighting and a clean representation of what you think <laughs> you'd have to. That's, oh, why, really that's why Beck annoys the hell of me because their generation yep. just takes heaps of photos. So she'll take like 100 photos of the same thing and never. So all her out. memories are like receipts. Yeah. Um, the the, the wall even, where you parked your car. Even when she's just trying to get the food or like so for Instagram yeah. or something, she just takes, there's going to be like a thousand shots of an avocado, which I just, just gives me the irrits. Mm-hmm. But but then when I asked her, could she download the Sonos app so she could change the music at home rather than ask me, she said, I don't have room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for right, mate. <laughs> he is smart, Beck. Uh, well done. Okay, David, have you got something to upset Andy or Hoy? Ahoy, gentlemen. Ahoy. Uh, so my upset, Andy, I, I have five uh, big windows at the front of my house, each with Venetian blinds, mm-hmm. with the loop where you... You yank on the loop and the blinds either turn inwards or outwards. Yes. Yep. I just walk along at night time, grabbing the 
whichever bit of the loop I see, yank on it and hope they turn the same way. They never do. So I just leave them either turning inwards or outwards. No. So you've got up, up, down, up, down, or down, down, up, down, up. Yep. Yeah. And you've never had exactly. them all going the one way. No, I figure it's like playing pokies. Eventually, yeah. I'll get them all the right way. Yeah. And I'll win yeah. money. Have you got close before? Someone have you got, knock have on you got, door. And, and, <laughs> we've been waiting across the street for two years. Here's a hamper. <laughs> have you got down, 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 down before and come down to, you know, had the final shot and, and fluffed no. it? Or you, no, no. No, it's That's... usually sort of one after the other. It's usually sort of three to two. Yeah. To out, David, no, if, no if, pattern. if you'd invited me around for a drink, and we would finish the second beer and, and you went, hey, do you want another one? And you left the room. I'd correct that <laughs> while you were outside of the room, I think. And you and then, return and go, did you fix the blind? <laughs> <laughs> it would be an eerie calm in the, the room. <laughs> um, oh, Love thank it. you, David. Right. Marlene, ahoy to you. Oh, boys. Um, so I like to read, but instead of reading books from start to finish, sometimes I open um, it up to a random page and read that chapter. And then once I've read all the chapters, I try and figure out what the story is. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. You'll get it. Marlene, I no, hate that. No, has time for books. <laughs> no one's got time for bookmarks. <laughs> you never, yeah, you lose them. I hate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Ando, mm -hmm. why not? Well, I mean, we have so many good ones coming in every single week. <sighs> it, just feel, it just feels <laughs> like sometimes you just have to upset your best mate. Everything is neat and practical Because that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy! <laughs> what I've, a always great felt, <laughs> I've always felt like, I'm not sure if you felt this about the opener, yeah. But at the end where it goes, nah, 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 that's me just going, nah, 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 nah. No, I, I always like it as an opener because I think it was meant to be for one day. And so I didn't put um, too much effort into it. And it is actually the opener for the opposite. Yeah. And then it just sort of finishes on, but imagine not. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Which, all right. Anyway. A lot of people writing in all the time, mm -hmm. Ando, to upset Andy. We collate the best. The producers collate the best. They hook them up on the line. There now has to be a bit of a process. What I love about this so much is um, between sort of myself, Carly, um, multi-platform Mike, mm. there's been so many that have come through that you're like, we know it's not going to have the same effect re-upsetting you. Like yep. once you've been stung, that's like a fresh wound. <laughs> And it, you, then you get a bit of scar tissue over it. So yes. it's hard to go back and re-upset you. But you would think it would get harder and harder to find them. It actually seems to be getting, like, just more and more original <laughs> ones come in. I just feel like we rarely go over the same spot twice. But Gabby. Oh, Gabby, oh, ahoy. Ahoy. Ahoy, Gabby. Ahoy. What have you got to upset Andy? So this is one that my husband does. When he buys a slab of beer and he gets, like, the four six-packs in the cardboard dividers, mm -hmm. like a carton dry, he will put them all in the fridge and then take a beer from all different six-packs instead of just finishing one six-pack off. And he's left. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I also hate... Absolutely got him. I, look, to be honest, don't really like putting them in the fridge in... The With cardboard, the cardboard. Yeah, Sandy did I will, not like. I will, I, 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 I will, I will take We're them. on. I will, We're on. I will take them out of the cardboard. If... So not, this, is, know, this is basically like, can I go free officer? No. In fact, I've got more crimes to charge you with. <laughs> but the other one is, say if you're using, if you're a can of beer and they've got the uh, the, the, the collection, the, 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 I don't know what you call it, it keeps them together at the top. A plastic thing sometimes. The, yeah, the plastic clasps at the top of them. I very much hate those ones because they stick out higher, like... It looks... Oh, they ruin the level. It ruins the level. Uh, and you can't get anything uh, alongside. Can, uh, can we dig a little deep on this for a second? Is the reason you don't like the cardboard divider on the stubbies going into the fridge is because that's the that's the divider telling you how to run the rules of the <laughs> no. fridge. Is, and no, it, it's going, you must put it in a three-by-two formation, whereas I know, the Andy I know would go... 
Sure, I might, if that's the most appropriate <laughs> formation, but I also, I might like a six by one <laughs> if I need to <laughs> if I need to move it around. As you know, you've been in my fridge before. I like having rows of different beers. Mm-hmm. And so you you'll, you'll like to merchandise it properly. You, you want to make sure that they're in the same. And the other part is when you want a beer, <laughs> you want it quick. And to, to don't have time to I, I'd prefer get it to get, out of the cardboard. When I get back and I get them all unpacked, I know that the last thing, or if I'm tired and I want a beer, you don't need any extra stuff. You want to, to get wrestle a it. cardboard <laughs> gatekeeper. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Certainly got me, Gabby. Well done. Really good, Gabby. Thank Billy. You. Ahoy, Billy. Ahoy, boys. How's it going? Yeah, good, Billy. Good, mate. What um, have you got for Ando? Well, my mate from work came in to work the other day. He's got a um, brand new iPhone 13 Pro, the mm-hmm. big one. Mm hmm. Must be nice. Yeah, fancy. Must be nice. Mm. And he bought um, a new screen protector online, mm. bought it for an iPhone 12. Mm. So it's got about a full centimetre, um, <laughs> a full centimetre gap around the whole um, screen protector, and he just runs with it. I hate it. I really hate More it. More than enough, I would say. I, mean, any, uh, I, view as, I mean, I view a case as sometimes overkill, let alone a screen protector. A screen protector is like... You know, it's like when you see the kids in under five's footy that wear mouth guards. You're like, oh, okay, well, geez, I mean, good to be safe, but they're all baby teach. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, Billy, yeah, here, here, here's the thing for me. I don't like a screen protector. I know it sounds, I know it should be no, in I my know, wheelhouse. That, when you think about it, people will know why Andy doesn't like it. It gets dusty. <laughs> there's imperfections in the plastic. Yeah. It can even, even though, of course, Andy would sp- Smooth it on with a razor yeah. to avoid air bubbles. <laughs> it just, Over time, the edges, the stickiness of the edges, will gather microscopic bits of dust that will that are a middle finger to Andy every time he looks at his phone. <laughs> Screen sensitivity as well could be compromised. Yep. All those yeah. things. So, he, he, putting one on, no thanks. But putting the wrong one on mm. just disgusts me. And yeah. Jack, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Billy. Sure. And Bye, uh, yeah. raw, raw dog you, and Billy. all the way. Um, <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie, ahoy. What have you got to upset Ando? Ahoy, boys. Happy uh, birthday, Andy. No need. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> ahoy to you. Ahoy. Um, so basically, part one of this is that I'm really lazy and I leave heaps of old drinks in my car. So I have like old half-filled bottles of Pepsi, Sprite, orange juice, old coffees. Never know and when it could I come in handy. <laughs> and I haven't filled my windscreen wiper since I first got my life. <laughs> So I'll just use, like, the Coke Zero and my old coffees to clean my windscreen. <laughs> An absolute a drip tray of fluids to and, clean. And my car, is, my car is white, so in summer I've got, like, a plethora of colours at the front. <laughs> <laughs> just gross. But does it do the job? Does it do the job? No, it doesn't do the job. <laughs> bet it does. <laughs> Andy, it certainly does do the job. It does. <laughs> I bet it does. Because isn't it, like, you meant to, like, you meant to clean, like, your wedding ring and stuff or your engagement ring, leave it in Coke. Yeah, glasses, like, same thing, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Just like a big diamond. All and right. lo and behold, <laughs> cleanest windscreen in town. Could be a life hack. Go, Steph. Holly, ahoy. Oh, ahoy, Holly. Ahoy, Holly. What have you got to upset Andy? Ahoy. Ahoy to you. My upset, Andy, is that at my parents' house, they've got about three quarters of their fence line is a picket fence. Mm-hmm. And so the picket fence goes big picket, little picket, big picket, little picket. Oh, nice. so, so far, so, so far, can I say, Holly, that's a picket pattern that pleases Andy. <laughs> oh, I, saw, I, saw, I saw Andy nod, like lulled into almost like a hypnosis of, yeah, this is good, big picket, little picket. Big, that's the way the suburbs are meant to be, big picket, little um, picket. But then to upset you, about halfway through, yeah. the fence are messed up and it goes big picket, big picket. No. And then back to the pattern of little picket, big picket, little picket, big picket. Is it picket. in a central spot? <laughs> like, could it it's, possibly be, if it was dead centre, it could possibly, if the it property, could be a feature. It could be a feature to double be a remnant. Big picket. No, it's not. It's literally like three quarters of the way through the fence. So it's not in like uh, a good place for it to make sense. Have, it, have you chosen to put your letterbox there to like. Yeah. To not, no, and it's one of those things that when you notice it, you can't unnotice it. Oh, I notice it. <laughs> <laughs> or is the big picket? Is the big? Are we talking tall picket, but same width, or is the big yeah, picket? Yeah, so they're all the same width, oh, but so one tall, put a small short, tall, short. 
Yep. So they could have put a shorter one there, Ando. They just chose not. No, to. it's not three in a row. I think it's only two in a row. No, I'm just saying they. It, it wasn't like they had to make up the space with a big picket. The width. No. They could have put a, a, a yeah. shorter picket yeah. with the yeah. same width. It's not even a width issue. And am I right in saying it's two pickets, not three in a row? Yeah. So it. So you can't it, replace it no. easily. No. It's replaced. Yeah, the whole if thing. If, oh, yeah, you're right. You're, you're to right. replace <laughs> it, you'd have to rip out half of the fence. Well, yeah. To then start the pattern again. All right. Well, you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only way out of this. Um, very quickly, James. James, ahoy, ahoy James. last one. Upset, ahoy, Andy. lads. Oh. Um, this is something I want to stress my partner does. I do not partake in any fast and loose action. Good man. There is, <laughs> you're, one, you're one with me, mate. I look forward to having a beer with a coaster. <laughs> I look forward, some point. I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to having a beer with your partner because they sound like they've got a lot of spare time because they're not wasting their life with procedures. <laughs> oh, so this is something. So, you know, like those thin plastic bottles that you'd usually find at like a servo, kind of like a pump bottle you know, anything you're going to find in like a fridge in like a supermarket or something like, like that. Like a water bottle? Yeah, like a water bottle. Yeah, yeah, essentially. So when they go to take a drink out of the water bottle, they will squeeze the bottle oh, to yeah. then increase the flow of water. Yeah. But then Time's we'll put the lid oh, straight no. back on <laughs> yep. and not let the bottle return back <laughs> to its <bottle. laughs> <laughs> oh, why would we? It. Why would we let it return, James? Switch shape because next time he's going to squeeze it again. So he, oh. they're really, really. You guys should love this because they're saving their spot of the squeeze. There is, no, you there ha- is a kicker here yeah. though. Okay, when the bottle gets placed back on the bench, for example, it can't stand upright. <laughs> so then the bottle will lay on its side. Yeah, Terrible. it's not going. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. Like, who oh. cares? The, the thing standing the bottle up, there's no rule that says a bottle has to be in perfect. It's not the international bottle show. It doesn't have to be in a presentable <laughs> position at all times. Gravity is really the thing sticking it to the bench. Who cares if it's having a sleep or standing to attention? <laughs> you can still pick it up next time you need it. Uh, James, I hate that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I feel your pain, buddy. <laughs> oh. Ando, mm-hmm. ready to have you hat spun around fast and steam come out your ears. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. Can I, can I launch my own one just yep. quickly? What have you been doing? When I got back from uh, our overseas break, yep. my protest, protest sorry, um, the, for four breaks, we don't yep. need them. <laughs> um, yep. My computer would not go back to Australian time. Oh, I, I just, found that as well. Yeah, just do the math. <laughs> no. To, Turn it, we'll just the, look at your wrist. The amount look somewhere of else for your time. I restarted the thing. <laughs> like, I couldn't do anything. This is what I would do to you if I hacked you. I wouldn't steal your money. <laughs> I would just do stuff like that. I'd change your iCal around. I'd fiddle with the times. It would be, I would absolutely, I'd Chris Angel you. Yeah, I'd, and then I'd eventually, freak with your mind. If, you, if it was to be a money-making experience, yeah. you could then just send me an email saying, hey, I can fix all that for a million dollars. Take take it. I'll give you two. Wow. <laughs> because be nice. This and, is a nice just... little incentive for any hackers out there. <laughs> <laughs> because I know what you mean. This yeah, that's the that's the trauma. Yeah, it's the trauma. No, um, I understand that. But I mean, to that to the clock situation. I mean, you you have a watch. You have we know you have two clocks on your ovens at night. We know <laughs> yeah. you are flush for clocks. There is one that's very special to you downstairs on the golf simulator. <laughs> so you are flush for clocks. Mm. But it does throw all the iCal out of whack because it thinks you're on a different time zone. Just yeah. make everything an all day appointment. <laughs> 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 um, Ethan, mm. Ethan, have you got something to upset Ando? Yeah, happy birthday, Andy. No need. <laughs> um, I should probably start off by saying this really does my head in too. I'm like Andy. I Go like um, lots okay. of order. Mm. Um, yeah, so my mum's indicator on her car was broken, and so she took it to the mechanic to get repaired, and he only replaced the right indicator, and he replaced it with an indicator that flashes at twice the speed as the left indicator. I hate that so much. <laughs> okay. 
That's no. okay. <laughs> that, well, when are you going left and right at the same time? You never know. But no, I would hate that so much, Ethan. It just, yeah. I, yeah. It's a sell the car kind of situation or take it to a different <laughs> meta- mechanic. Yeah. If I'm waiting at the intersection for too long, it, rather than just let it flash at such a rapid speed, I'll just stick my right hand out the window. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like a bike rider. Go back to horse and cart times. <laughs> Absolutely. I, think, I, remember, I vaguely remember from doing the road test that that's still legal. Yeah, if your blinker's not working, yeah, which you I are was, allowed. I, I'm going to say it isn't because it's not working. <laughs> it's not working to my, <laughs> my favourite my... preference. <laughs> Uh, Ethan, yeah, that would absolutely uh, shit me to tears. <laughs> nice, so thank you, buddy. Um, um, Beth, Beth, ahoy, Beth. Ahoy, how are you guys going? Very good, Very mate. Good. What have you got uh, for Ando? Um, so quite often at work, I do a bit of laminating. Um, so I don't know if you guys have laminated before, but Love it. I, I had a go at it once. It seemed fairly time-consuming. <laughs> yeah, so because I'm fast and loose, I just don't bother lining up the paper with the slip. So when it comes out the other end, when it's fully laminated, I just cut off a bit of piece of paper that sticks out, and then we're good to go. But hang on, you, there's, there's, then it's not, it's not sealed. No, it just sticks what are you, out. Were you ta- you're taking it underwater, mate. It's mostly sealed. <laughs> you just you're cut not... it off, and then it's all good. Well, it's not all good because it's not sealed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who cares? It's only a small amount that's not sealed. Yeah. Most of it's sealed. It's, it's still, it's going to be okay. No important information. It's fine. Uh, it's not fine for me. It's a peri peri hot as on and the uh, scale of upset. You, when are you taking a laminated piece of work, you know, underwater? It mm. The seal doesn't really matter. It's just to give it a bit of longevity. For God's sake, she's got 99% mm. of it done. Cut <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think gets at, it. <laughs> at first, Beth, I thought Andy thought you were just going to say you weren't lining it up properly. And I saw his face change when he realized n- <laughs> not just not square, <laughs> there's a piece hanging out. <laughs> nah, not for me. <laughs> not for me. Thank you, Beth. Get rid of it. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, you've got Ahoy. something to upset Ando? Ahoy, mate. Yes, well, look, you know how, uh, you know, jam jars can sometimes be a little bit difficult to open. Mm-hmm. Um, most people would probably, you know, try and find someone strong to give it a go or, or yeah. find a tea towel. What my wife does is, um, well, to release the pressure um, and make it easier to open, she gets a sharp knife and um, stabs the top of the lid. <laughs> and Good trick. <laughs> I tell you what, it, it actually works. But the, the, anno- <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the annoying it, thing is your jam goes off after well, that. Exactly. No well, way. well, because she she continues to use the lid like normal, you know, f- turning a blind eye to the fact Awful. that there's a, a Awful. massive hole in it. Ben. Most of the air won't get in. No. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> lids meant are to, to stop air the air. Tight. Li- lids air are to tight. stop airflow air and hot. Oh, okay, Ando. So so you haven't completely boarded up the door. You've just got a bouncer. Most <laughs> of the air still won't get in. <laughs> um, ben, can I recommend to your partner? Yes. Just using the, the knife, just a tap on the side of the uh, the lid. That'll normally break the yeah. seal. Who's Look, got I, time I think, for all these I taps? think we keep her away from knives. I think, you know. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, Divorce. I'd the thing yeah. is, Ando. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you're getting it? Sorry, I might have jumped If you're looking to relieve the pressure, Andy's got a solution. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie has got, uh, has got something to upset Ando. Mm. So far, three from three. Absolutely. It's a hot Ahoy, room. boys. Mm-hmm. Ahoy, 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 um, so recently we were going away for the weekend and it got to like the Friday afternoon after work and I still hadn't packed yet and I just That's like okay. couldn't be bothered. So <laughs> I went into the laundry and noticed a load of washing had just come out of the dryer. So I just put that basket straight in the car and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm okay with this. Yeah, it's an odds game. <laughs> isn't this? Isn't this? I know this is a pecu- this is the peculiarity of. So you'd go Andy. off on holidays with a basket of washing. I don't. Yeah. I'm. I'm kind of fine with this, Ham. I, yeah, because I think. I think the thing is, though. Yeah, this is crossed a, from. I think, without again, you know, one thing we hate doing is stereotyping. But I think for like my wife would not be able to deal with that. No. But guys, when they go on holidays, like doesn't matter at all. Doesn't really matter. When or wear anything. Yeah, the only problem was I didn't factor into the equation that um because I am married, a lot of the stuff ended up being my husband's stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do, I'm not saying I would I would do it. I wouldn't want to do it, but I'm just saying it's it's to me, I mean, and also if you t- said you'd grab the dirty laundry, that would really bother me. But to, <laughs> yep. to I packing for overseas, I really or wherever you're going, I just don't really care for it too much. Whenever okay. there's been luggage lost, you know, you get to there and they go, a bag's been, hasn't made it on board. 
the amount that I plead that it's Bex and not mine, uh, uh, that it's sorry, that it's mine that's lost and not Bex. Oh, yeah. Because because we don't care. Guys oh, yeah. don't care. I mean, I'm with the same pair of boy shorts the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, Good thank one. you though, Ellie. Tabitha, mm-hmm. I feel like we can round this out f- to score another goal here mm. for the Yanoyas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Ahoy. 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 So I have two parts to mine. On my work laptop, I don't save any files into designated folders. I so I have about 4,000 documents <laughs> just sitting in my downloads. I You'll find them. So when I need to find something, mm. I just use various search terms until I can find that yeah. document. So the system works. Do you know, um, Tabitha, that my downloads folder is empty? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what a maniac. I think Andy's a serial killer. <laughs> It's what used, do you mean it's empty? It's placed somewhere, it's used, and then deleted. That's where yeah. everything lives in mine. <laughs> well, yeah. That, you, you, you look at all this extra work you're creating for yourself, Ando. <laughs> Go in the folder, move it out, delete. <laughs> Whereas me and Tabitha, we was like, yeah, we know where it is. It's in the downloads folder. That's the bucket where it lives. <laughs> Did you say there was another aspect to this, Tabitha? <laughs> so, yes, to make that worse, I often won't rename my new Word docs when they auto-save, so I'm currently about to start working on document 87. <laughs> <laughs> and if you say you oh, had, to, oh. had to get something, say someone was like, hey, we need those figures from June, yeah. does your brain go, I think that was about document 70? <laughs> and yeah. you go back and, and find... search keywords. <laughs> yeah. Awful, awful. No, not really, Ando. Actually, the smartness here is utilising the search function, <laughs> and that has got a lot better. <laughs> Like computers these days, the search is very good. I don't know if it's AI or machine learning or whatever it is, but Gives me utilize hearts. that. No. Use the search, do the work for you. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you are a tough man to please. Therefore, <laughs> therefore an easy man to upset. Hit it, Jack. <laughs> I'm not a tough man to please. Everything is neat and practical. Because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. <laughs> and a fresh list. We, I, every, time I, every time we get him in, because we really don't ever repeat an Upset Andy. No, which I'm surprised. They keep pouring in. I feel in. like they'd be running out by now. They keep pouring when in. They land on my, uh, to be honest, when they ran on my side of the fence, I apologise to people because I, as soon as I, because the people who are upset and I just delete them, delete them straight away. Yeah. So there is Don't want to be upset. 50% of them are probably right. so there you go. not making it through, which I apologise to those. That That's crew. good. We're not overfishing it. Yeah. Um, Yep. So many great Putting ones. Putting them coming. back in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, if, you've, if, you've, if you haven't heard from us and you really thought it was a cracker. Yeah. Go again. Go again. You might have got Andy's side. Yeah, try and jump back in the boat. <laughs> Sebastian. Um, yeah. Sebastian joins us. Sebastian, you got something to upset Andy? Yeah. Ahoy, gentlemen. Ahoy, mate. Uh, when I go into the supermarket and it's time for me to crack out my uh, rewards card, instead of going to the nice, simple app that's on the phone there, I go into my girlfriend's messages, go through into the photos section, scroll all the way down to the screenshot she sent me of the barcode from about three years ago. So sometimes one big scroll gets me all the way there, and other times it's a couple small scrolls and I might land on it. I do this a lot. I do this with a Medicare card. I know so, my wife has sent it to me. So, so, yeah, but you can go just to media. You don't have to scroll. You can just tap oh. on and then media. Oh, and that's Who's got time to go to media? But so, rewards, card, rewards card roulette. Like you've got to have some fun while the lady asks you for your rewards card. Yeah, I mean it's not. I'm not. It's not terrible because I take photos of all those things and have it. In, you can save them in photos in a favourites like oh, there we go. yeah like <laughs> a, <laughs> archive yeah I can't see archive. you going back through all your selfies with Beck no, to try and find the, that would, that the would vets have, discount card or whatever that would annoy me um, but it's not red hot for me okay start a medium thank yeah, you Sebastian thank you. that's alright Kay Kay have you got something to upset Andy Hi. <clears throat> yes, I do. Okay, um, so okay. my mum sent me a photo um, of something that my stepdad did. Um, so day one it was just the six pack of yogurts in the fridge, and one of them was open and empty. He didn't um, want, but he hadn't unsnapped it. But yeah, it was still attached. Hang on, um, he'd eaten one <laughs> attached to the six pack. I've done that before. I think <laughs> just he's standing at the fridge. He was. Wants a fridge snack. <laughs> that is awful. That's that's peri peri hot. That's a bad one for me. So instead Hang of on. snapping off the singular one, he'll just yep. peel back one lid, eat it, still attached with with five other ones hanging off it. You did say, Kay, it was day one. What did you do on day yeah. two? The day two, she sent me the photo, and it was the 
two empties still attached to the six. It's gathering mould. Um, and do you ever scoop anything out of the jar and eat it? As a straight off in like a, 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 a little a, treat for Andy, no. Nutella or a bit of peanut butter. Mm, I used to do it with Milo. Dip it finger in, lick a finger. You never do a finger in. Why no, not? no, because you don't. People don't want your fingers in their food. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the house together. Uh, Kay, thank you for that. But nice, that Kay. is awful. Penelope, <laughs> Penelope, what have you got? Um, so in my kitchen on the counter, we have like a notebook for writing shopping lists and stuff and mm-hmm. then a cup full of pens next to it. Mm-hmm. If anyone in my family discovers that one of the pens doesn't work, like it's out of ink or something, <laughs> instead of throwing it in the bin, we'll just put it back into the <laughs> cup. I hate and that. Then <laughs> And so at this point, it takes like four or five tries to get a pen that works because yep. we've been doing it for years. Oh, yeah. Like only a couple of them work yeah. in a whole cup full of pens. Awful. Yeah, awful. And <laughs> do you throw pens out? Absolutely throw a pen out. That's exactly what Beck would do. Beck would uh, totally just leave it there. Yeah. And she just wonders why. Because sometimes you go, oh, it might be a bad day. The ink might be feeling not up to it today. But sometimes exactly. pens. Exactly, you got to give it a chance. Sometimes yeah. pens no, come back to no. life. You do You do one lick on the on the nib and give it a scribble and it's I'm coming from there, you throw it out. It's rough. You can tell. But, yeah, that's awful, Penelope. I hate that. Half life. <laughs> Christina, Christina, what have you got to upset, Andy? Ahoy, boys. Ahoy. Okay, so in the laundry room, we had the carton of washing powder on the top shelf, mm-hmm. and next to it was a carton of bird seed. So normally I'd just grab a carton and free pour it straight into the machine, as yep. you do. Mm-hmm. But a few times I'd do this without realising I'd grab the bird seed. <laughs> I'd be staring in the washing machine thinking, oh, no, what are we going to do here sort of thing? But then was like, oh, well, that's definitely not a problem for right now. Close the lid, hit start, and go about my day. Hang on, wash you wash, with you wash with bird seed. 100%. It's the water that does most of the cleaning anyway. <laughs> so you... Like an exfoliation for the <laughs> pants. You're not even liking this. I, I would have thought you'd you. then, I would, my next move would be, I'd understand you'd be like, oh, well, boxes are boxes. But I do know there's a difference between soap powder and birdseed. I would put in more than I would normally put in of the powder on top of the birdseed and give it a birdseed and detergent wash. No, sir. Got a bit on. No time for that. <laughs> I understand. Someone faster and loose than Amy. I understand it. You've got a busy day. We've all got stuff to do. I'll let you go, Christine. Let you get back to your jobs. Michael. Michael. Um, upset Andy. G'day, chaps. Um, so, two parts. My fiance and I like a healthy variety of breakfast cereals. Nice. Uh, but those boxes are mostly filled with air and take up lots of space. Mm-hmm. So we just bin the boxes and throw each of the bags on a shelf in the pantry. Mm. Oh, and a, then, thrown uh, bag. a thrown bag is already scr- – <laughs> and he's scrunching his face up at a thrown bag. No. He was with you for binning the boxes, mm. but then the next bit he wanted to hear, I'm guessing, was put it in a sealed Tupperware container. Yeah, cereal ones. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, no no, no containers here. That um, comes with a container and it comes with a bag. What is strange about this is I love the fact that it's saving space in the cupboard. Mm. I don't like that you can't readily identify <laughs> oh, they can't. what what cereal it is. Frosted, there. Just misty bags. Mm. How do you identify <laughs> cereal? Oh, you just go hunting and see what you grab for that day. That's disappointing. Do you look in the top hole to to see what's in there? Oh, so yeah, top hole. Well, sometimes if I grab the bag out, there's already a hole on the side. So that's no good. I like yeah, the top hole. Not, so I'll open the flaps on the corner, and sometimes I'll. Pour it out, and you've got two holes of cereal going the, out into the bowl. Where the other hole come from? Oh, uh, if my fiance jumps in and like pokes a hole on the side, and she rips <laughs> it open because she can't be bothered to do the top. That, that. She's very fuzzy. She can't be bothered to do the top flaps on the bag. Can't be bothered. And then I jump in. I see the uh, the closed tops. I'm like, well, this isn't open. So go and open it, and suddenly I've got cereal on the floor. You got a double yeah. holer. I hate all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I can just see Andy in pure disbelief here mm. going, mm. you go to the supermarket, mm. you bought the cereal, you bring mm. it home, you've done everything right, mm. then you get home, you're double holding the bag, you're throwing out the box, you're pouring it all over the floor. You were so close. Yeah, Michael, at our place. Oh, yeah, here we go. The flour comes out, obviously, and it can be poured into a Tupperware thing for extra, for so you can seal it again. Yeah. And then I'll cut out, 
the box. I've seen this in my house. This is so bad. This is so bad. So it's the so you have like the title card, (laughs) and then you slide that in the container, so you know exactly what flour it is or sugar or whatever. I've seen that, Mike. But that's that's so many uh, different cereals and stuff. Like you you can't have your variety. He wouldn't do it for cereal, and he would trust himself to identify Sultana brand over (laughs) Sustain. (laughs) But yes, I've seen him do it, and for pastas too. Mm. For other, yep, for other things that are sealed, mm. he will get the scissors, and get all the effort of cutting out like the doesn't, panel. Doesn't take long. <laughs> just little panel to say. I don't. I honestly don't know how you have time to come in here <laughs> with all the extra stuff that you do. Like, thanks, Mike. <laughs> and oh, uh, mm-hmm. of course, Pleasure Fest is coming up towards the end of the year, yes. where we will have. As many as 10, it looks like. No way. <laughs> really? Yeah, or possibly 11 pleasurers yeah. uh, <laughs> all all manning their own store like a science fair yeah. um, to pleasure you. Uh, the opposite of what we're about to do. Yeah. Uh, I thought just before we we coax you into a state of maximum pleasure <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. um, by showing you things that are ex- excellent examples of neatness, practicality, yep. efficiency, mm-hmm. good ways of doing things. Yes. Uh, before we get you into that heady state, almost a trance-like state, we should um, grind you down and uh, <laughs> displeasure you or upset you first. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical Because that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy! Safe to say, Ando, that the, mm. the, the, we get a flood of upset Andys. More yep. so, it was quite tough to squeeze pleasure Andys out of the, um, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the fruit tree of the listeners. People but certainly to upset me. Yep. Yeah. It's like the upset, the upset Andy tree is like one of those, you know, some, like a, my grandma had a lemon tree. You just could not stop growing lemons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know every, like every time you were there, it was just a carpet of like rotting lemons around the bottom, <laughs> hitting you on the, you hit the cricket ball into the tree, a hundred lemons would fall. <laughs> and that's really what upset Andy is. Mm-hmm. Lots of, lots of things out there that could potentially upset you. You could just rock the, um, the efficiencies with which you like yes. to run the world. Mm-hmm. Bruce. To kick things off, ahoy, Bruce. What upsets Andy? Ahoy, boys. Uh, interesting one for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I swing past my parents' place the other day. It's in a suburb of Adelaide. Houses are typically close. Uh, Mum is home, makes me some lunch, happy days. Um, doorbell rings and she doesn't budge. And I ask her if she's going to answer it. She says, no, nah, it's Nova's doorbell. I'm thinking it was loud enough, front door was closed, and there was no way it was another house. I said, what do you mean? It was your chimer. She said, no, nah, it chimes, but it's a neighbour's house. I said, and the doorbell rings again, and this time I've gone, no way, there's definitely someone at the front door. So I opened the front door, and sure enough, no one there. I've gone back to mum for an explanation, and she explains that the neighbour's doorbell is on the same frequency but plays a different chime on her system. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how she knows it's the neighbour's door. <laughs> Yeah, well, if it's so, a different noise, no, no need to change it. That That's is, right. so, I would yeah. be infuriated by that. <laughs> so I've got what, no idea. I've got, I've, I've got no idea if, an ex, if it's an expensive system or a cheap knockoff, but yeah. it's got to be a quick fix, like a Phillips head screwdriver at most. Oh, so I asked mum how long it's up. been doing that for. Mm. Ask her how long it's been going on for. She says. 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I think about all the times you would have had to waste getting the Phillips. And you said you think it's a Phillips head, so it could have been the other time. <laughs> so yeah. then you're going to get the screwdrivers out, you're matching the screwdrivers. Oh, man, no one's Perry, done. Perry, Perry, hot, that one for me. That would be so <laughs> annoying. Thank you yeah. so much, Bruce. Elise, oh, Elise uh, thank you, Bruce. Elise, can you upset Andy for us? Hi, boys. I'm really sorry in advance for this, Andy, but I think I'm about to upset you. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm outing my husband. I really need you to back me up here. I'll set the scene. I'm in the car with him, and he decided to have some chewing gum, and he got it out of the container, which, you know, must be pretty nice, not having to pack it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite a lot of so, pellets in the container. <laughs> gee, gee, upwards of 50. <laughs> wow. A, a lot of pellets. And so when he was finished, he did not dispose of his gum like a normal person. Instead, he picked up the very same container that he got the gum from and he spat it back in the same container with Mm. all the fresh ones. (laughs) It's horrible. (laughs) I don't think, I mean, that's just not an upset, Andy. I don't think anyone Mm. wants that happening. Tough to find the positives to that. Um, (laughs) That is is piggery. Uh, It it gets gets worse, though. Oh, my God. (laughs) 
he sent me a picture of one this week. It was a picture of the container with a like the bottom of the container of the outside with some chewing gum stuck to it. It didn't even make it back in the container. That's just I'm traumatized. So he's just left it on the side. Yeah, it look, if he had a separate, con- like once he finishes one pellet one and had a separate one, I'd actually really like that. So the, the in mm. essence, it's it's an. You can't fix him though, Andy. You don't don't try. He, this is not what he's doing. I know what you're saying. Yeah, you you would have, you'd appreciate him to have a spittoon or something. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and he's and he's got I'll a, take a any brother. Suggestion. Yeah. Mm, he's used a Phillips brother P touch to label it. You know, ex, you know, used gum yeah, or stuff like that. Um, yeah. You know, gum <laughs> container or mm. something that you'd really like that. Yeah. But no, he's just mixing it all in together. That's I mean, so... he's getting a second use out of it. Uh, you would assume eventually. Oh. I hope not. I hope not. Elise, um, disgusting. Certainly a peri peri hot again <laughs> on, the, yep. on the upset, Andy. Thanks Good luck. very much. Um, all right, Mike, um, can you upset Andy um, not just by listing something that's feral? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. oh, wait, Mike. I think I can. Okay, Mike. So I bought a filing cabinet secondhand off Marketplace. Okay, great. And I, I put it in my business and I need to organize everything. The lady who sold it to me said, you can keep all of the folders that are already inside the drawer. So, and they're all labelled. That's handy. It is very handy. Um, but what I did when it came to filing time, I didn't have time. So the labels that she has in there, for example, Westpac, um, she's got an address there that's her previous home, obviously. Her name was Tracy, so she's got one labelled Tracy. I just put my files corresponding to the same category <laughs> into those same folders and didn't change the label. Yeah, yeah, it's like your own little code. Yeah, That's that. good. That's very clever. So what have you got under my, Tracy? Yeah, there? what's under Tracy and Westpac? Yeah. Anything to do with my wife, whose name is Kate, goes under Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Westpac, I've, I'm with Combank, so that Same. all goes in there. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like learning another language, you know, you can, you can just, you realise you can actually just slide out the piece of paper and turn oh, it, fine. turn it, it, must it, be turn nice it around. All the time in the well, no, these are actually out. stickers. She's, she stickers. was so organised, she's put That's stickers, hard. printed little label stickers, mm. which means I'd have to go and peel them off and then go and buy the inserts and print them myself. Oh, my so God. No. It relevant. Yeah. Absolutely. You've got a business run. You don't have time I for that. It. I hate <laughs> it, Mike. You've <laughs> <Good Mike. laughs> Thank you, though. Lana. Lana. Uh, ahoy, Lana. you got something to upset Andy? Yeah. So I use my notes up a lot, but I don't create a new note for each new topic. I'll just add to an existing one that I've already got going. Oh, is this on this Apple? Point, is this on your iPhone? Yeah. I, this... I've got a mate that does this. Andy, you know, John does this. He, has, he doesn't have the notes app. He has the note app. <laughs> It's literally one note and he scrolls to the end. Is this what you have to do, Lana? You have to scroll to the end or then scroll yeah, back yeah. into it to be like, yeah, I think I've yeah. got the flight number. And you have to scroll yeah, back you like just, two you pages. Just scroll so it feels right. Lana, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, oh, hang up on her, Jack. Uh, mate, you should see John's. It is like eight years worth of note. <laughs> It's phenomenal. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> like secure information, mm. addresses. No. Just random thoughts. No. It's quite the document. Yeah. No. And when I explained me. it to him that you could have different different sections, he's, yeah, he just wasn't. Because you can lock, you can lock segments as well. You can have different notes that you're he's, not doing. He's not doing it for any other reason than just he's got to have it <laughs> and he's, he's sticking with it. Uh, Dean, here we go. We're talking about Dean, have you got something to upset Andy? Yeah. Ho- hoi, boys. How are you? Ahoy, mate. Very good, mate. Um, so a mate of mine decided he wanted to put dimmable lights in his living room yep. and the electrician specifically told him, make sure you get the globes that are compatible with dimming. Yep, I'm familiar right. with this. <laughs> he didn't take that advice, saved a few dollars and just got ordinary globes. Mm. And now whenever you turn the light on, the bulbs just dim and brighten constantly on their own. Yeah, but they're, instead just of their just own. Change- <laughs> they're just doing their own thing. <laughs> yep, but instead of just changing the globes, he reckons they're all right and he's waiting until they blow and it's been over a year now. <laughs> He's, he's they, in a game of they, chicken with his light globes. So they flicker, wouldn't they? I, I've had this before. They flicker and they also dim, like this, oh. this erratic with their on and off. Yeah, he doesn't really have any settings. If you put it up high, it goes from high to medium, maybe mm. sometimes low. Um, yep. Get us over for a games night and it was shocking. Your eyes just couldn't like the dust. <laughs> yeah. how's, the, how's the dramatic effect, though, for the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dean, I hate it. I'd be changing it over because I've happened to me. I'd be changing it immediately, but thank you. Uh, clean, Solid round. Clean sweep of upset. <laughs> yeah, an absolute, an absolute scorcher through there.